back to Block TV. It's time for Cryptonomics, where we look at the intersection between the crypto markets and the real world. Now, one of the most anticipated projects to roll out in the crypto market this year is the launch of the backed Bitcoin futures contracts. The development is set to get a jolt of relevance this week as Backed announced it's beginning its user acceptance test, with many predicting uh, that that'll be the precursor to a full launch in the near future. To help us break down what's in store and what it all means, I'm joined in studio, Black TV analyst Asher Westrop Evans. Asher, uh, a slew of, uh, of reports coming out about uh, a Backed. Is this finally going to hit uh, uh, the market? Yeah, so this is all coming out of the Back Digital Asset Summit that was held on July 18th. They announced that this user uh, acceptance testing will be starting as of July 22nd and really seen as a sort of re-energization, a kick in the pants as it were, for Backed as a project as a whole. We're getting a lot of this reporting coming from Fundstrat analyst Sam Doctor, mm -hmm. who was... Uh, he attended the... the exactly, who attended the conference and put out a, a bunch of information talking about what's happening there and with a lot of positive reporting coming out, notably, particularly that CFTC Commissioner Dawn Stump was apparently there at the conference and stated that no current cryptocurrency, I'm quoting here, mm -hmm. could threaten financial stability, which really is seeing, many are seeing as an opening of the doors, potential, uh, you know, this potential backed uh, futures project right. being really launched. So I'm very excited about that. So just to get everybody caught up, uh, can you give us a brief explanation of what exactly Backed's doing and, and more specifically maybe what this next uh, phase of testing is all about? Okay, so the key thing that Backed is doing is they are doing futures which are physically settled, which is very different to what's happening at the moment with uh, CME, the right. Chicago Mercantile Exchange, who do the cash settled futures. So what that means is that it has a lot more backing, as it were, hence the name backed, by the actual crypto that is going to be held in place. And that is seen as enticing a lot more of the institutional players who are saying that they'll actually be able to you know, physically settle for Bitcoin at the end of the given futures contracts. And that's seen as a stable move, an accessible move, and it's really enticing investors in a way that uh, other uh, perhaps futures exchanges haven't necessarily. Although, I mean, CME was right. well received and CBOE when they were, launched their futures exchange, but this is seen as a reinvigoration of the industries. And, and the, the tie-in with uh, uh, Starbucks and the Intercontinental Exchange. Exactly. Um, we have any uh, reason to, be, uh, to, to believe that the CFTC is going to approve it and that it's going to go ahead, or anything still in the way in terms of bureaucracy regulation? Oh, look, I mean, there is still plenty in, t in the way in terms of it. It has been delayed so many times, right. and there hasn't been substantial direct statements made by the CFTC to the public. What we're going on is that Fundstrat reporting that's coming out that was saying that Dawn Stump made those statements mm -hmm. there. Uh, but it seems more positive. And if BACT is able to go ahead, which they are hoping to do this quarter with the full launch, right. uh, it's sort of the current statement suggests that that's their current goal. And if they're able to actually do that, then it really does pave the way for potential ETFs to finally be approved down the track. I Many are seeing this as the first right. step in that next sort of length of programming. Whether that really does happen and does eventuate, maybe people are getting a little over optimistic, sure. but certainly there's the buzz, there's the motivation, there's the drive to get this done in the moment. Well, with the Libra hearings we had last week and what with all the action and, and interest that's suddenly flushing through regulatory agencies in Washington to find out more about cryptocurrencies and a lot of interest there, this could really be a time for things to start skyrocketing. Interesting. Now, uh, as far as the testing uh, phase is concerned, do we know how long that's going to last or what, what it entails? Oh, well, see, that's the thing, Ron. I mean, it all comes back to when they would be able to get approval. I mean, this testing ground is seen as another way that uh, Intercontinental Exchange and BACT is really trying to prove themselves uh, as credible, as reliable, as secure to the uh, institutional investors and also, of course, to the regulators, which they need to prove. So this all remains in an open testing phase until we get that sort of final approval. Now, if we're talking, you know, going back six months, a year, and everybody was biting their nails for this uh, back so, launch yeah. um, and kind of anticipating, all right, this is going to be what's going to drive institutional investment and thus the price of Bitcoin. Um, is that still like the, 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 the sentiment? Is that still the feeling? Um, Look, certainly the, the fact that it's dragged on for so long has taken a little bit of the wind sure. out of the sails. There's no doubt about that. But with the slew of announcements coming out at the moment, again, whether we talk about Libra, uh, whether we talk about uh, you know, uh, regulatory changes from the FATF, yeah. from the SEC, uh, IRS did sort of putting out direct policies on how they want to approach uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. This is certainly seen as that next regulatory step that could be, f some would argue, the watershed moment that really opens the floodgates. I mean, many are really hoping that this will be the case. And so there's a lot of interest still buzzing around this. Mm -hmm. And I think 
whether it happens this quarter, whether it happens later in 2019 or even in 2020, whenever it does happen, there we'll will see. be enough excitement that will certainly drive at least a jolt. And hopefully, I'm, sh I'm sure many in the industry right. would say a really big rush in from institutional investors into the industry. All right, so we'll uh, be keeping an eye on Maybe there'll be some uh, uh, reviews uh, out this week from people who are using the, uh, the test uh, system. Um, excellent, fascinating stuff. Uh, Asher Westrop Evans, thanks for breaking that down. And for those of you at home, uh, we're going to be right back with more crypto and blockchain news and analysis. Don't go anywhere. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.